Hi, Kinesiology 1018. Welcome back for part two of our chapter seven lecture on creating your fitness program. Today, we're going to talk about how we can put this plan into action. You've made it, but now it's just a piece of paper. A piece of paper is not going to make you fit. A piece of paper is not going to make you healthy. A piece of paper is just a piece of paper. It's this imaginary plan that you say you're going to do. It doesn't matter until you actually start that program. Okay. You have to start slowly and increase your fitness gradually. Okay, so start somewhere that is 100% achievable, almost where it's like, you know what, this is too easy for me. If you think, oh, this is kind of too easy for me, then you can probably do it. And if you can do it, then you have a better chance for immediate success. Immediate success means, man, this is fun. I'm feeling successful. If you can make it so you're feeling successful, you'll keep going. Okay, so it's a little bit of psychology, a little bit of tricking yourself. Okay, so start slow, start gradually. We don't want to get hurt anywhere during this process. Okay, but maybe that's just one day this week, you're going to exercise for 30 minutes. Can you do that? Yeah, you can probably do that. You could probably take your phone, you could probably take your headphones and you can listen to some lectures and go for a walk. Boom, you hit your exercise goal for that day. You can give yourself that pat on the back, give yourself a fist bump, give yourself a high five because you achieved your goal for that day. Okay, now let's look forward to the next day. I do recommend to find an exercise buddy okay, or a partner to exercise with. It's very difficult to exercise on your own. It's very difficult. So maybe you can rope your friend or your family member, your brother, sister, mom, dad, a aunt, uncle, cousin, a random person that you met at the gym okay, to, to be your exercise buddy. Okay, I have a friend that I exercise with every morning. Okay, we exercise about four days a week together and we push each other and help each other get better. Okay, because having that exercise buddy will keep you accountable because you don't want to be the one who shows up that day and they don't. Okay, if they don't show up, then they feel bad. Okay, so you're kind of... Um, forcing some more commitment for your exercise buddy and they're forcing some more accountability and commitment for you. So you're holding each other accountable towards improving each other's life. So it's a very positive accountability situation. Plus it's way more fun because you can joke, you can have fun, you can compete. The big one for me is competing. I love to compete. It's one of my favorite things to do regardless of what the activity is. So having someone to compete with really helps to um, get me excited for that day of exercise or that day of training and okay, then sometimes you need to ask for support from others or help okay, it's okay to ask for help if you don't know what you're doing okay because nobody knows what they're supposed to do until they learn and okay, so ask for some support from others that may be a, a fitness expert it may be someone um, that you found online okay, if you want some some recommendations i can give you some recommendations um, the SRC has a lot of information for you. Um, I've even doing a workshop this Wednesday. So if you're watching this on Friday, I'm sorry, but I'm doing a workshop on Wednesday with the rec center on the October 7th, 2020, that's going to be focused around how to exercise at home. Okay. So ask for some support, ask for help. Um, and, and people will help you. People have also been on this journey and want to help you get there. Okay. Then we got to vary our activities. Okay, uh, we can't just do the same thing every single day. Okay, I'm sorry, um, but mix things up. Okay, you never know what you don't like until you try it and you don't like it. Okay, I really enjoy resistance training. I enjoy running. Um, I don't really enjoy um, walking. Okay, that's just me. I don't enjoy walking as much. I don't enjoy um, more group exercise to music dance classes. I don't enjoy that. Um, I don't enjoy spin class. Okay? My fiance loves spin class. Okay? And she took me one day and I realized, nope, I don't like this. Okay? But I really like riding my bike outdoors and I like lifting weights. So I find things that I like and I do those things because I'm more likely to do them. Okay? So find what you enjoy. If you enjoy yoga, do yoga. If you enjoy spin class, do spin class. If you enjoy just walking, just walk. Okay? And then maybe you mix in some new activities, try some new ones out. Okay, then we have to cycle our volume and intensity. So 
maybe one week you do really hard workouts, but not for very long. And some weeks you go for a long period of time, but not as intense. And you alternate those two. We can't just always run at 100% with as much as we can possibly do every single day. It's not going to work very well. And we're going to hit a point where we crash and burn. Okay, then we need to adapt our environment. Okay, most of the time, especially with students, we get excited for exercise right at the start of the semester. You're like, oh man, I got the SRC. I'm here all the time. I can go exercise. And then midterms come around and then you're like, oh, I have to study more. Um, you know that the exercise actually helps you retain information. So exercising could be actually helping you study. Um, and then you hit the next midterm and then you're like, oh, I got to study more. And you haven't exercised in the last few weeks and you're starting to feel terrible. And then summer or winter vacation comes around, have a little too much really good food, stop exercising. Now you have been exercising like 12 weeks. And then you start the next semester, like New Year's, I'm ready to go, and you try to start over. That's a rough cycle to do every single year. Okay, so I do recommend whenever something changes in your life, change your exercise schedule too. Make exercise a key point within your week. Okay, plan it within your week, just like you would plan your prepping for your classes, okay, doing your homework like you would put your work in your schedule and okay, make exercise a piece of that process. Okay, think of it as just like eating breakfast, just like eating lunch, just like eating dinner. Exercise is something that you have to have. Okay, so force it into your schedule, even if it's just three sets of 10 push-ups before you get in the shower in the morning. That's still more than doing nothing. Okay, and expect some relapses. Okay, relapses happen. Okay, that's okay if you stopped exercising for the last four, six, seven weeks, that's fine. Okay, but now the best point for us is to find a way to get back on. Okay, find some way for you. Hopefully it's this lecture to you say, hey, you got to do it. Okay, because it's your life. Okay, you're preparing for a long, healthy life by doing your exercise now. Okay, so keeping it through, think of it as something that you have to do, just like eating food, you have to move your body. And then choose healthy lifestyle behaviors outside of that, more physical activity, okay, just in general, quality foods. Okay, in our next chapter, we're going to talk about foods. Um, so quality foods are a big one. Um, try to eat the rainbow. Okay, eat as many different colored vegetables as you can. Eat as many fruits as you can. And lean meats complex carbohydrates. Okay, we'll talk about all of those. Okay, but find healthy lifestyle behaviors that are less sedentary so that you can hit all of those points and you can improve your overall health and wellness. And you can do these healthy lifestyle behaviors maybe with your exercise partner, your significant other, your family. You can even go on a family fitness journey. Okay, it doesn't have to be tomorrow that you become this new super in shape person. You don't even have to become a super in shape person. You just want to be more healthy than you were before. Okay, a better version of you. Okay, you have that opportunity now. So let's create that fitness program. All right, I'll see you in part three in a little bit. Thank you.